Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. Uh, so this is a singles love reading for you guys. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 2022. So we are going to take a look at your overall energies uh, regarding love, okay? Uh, we'll take a look and see what your current blockages and challenges are in finding love. And then we will see if there's anyone new coming towards you, what you need to know, what you need to work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Taurus, let's get started. Tell me about Taurus, over energies for Taurus, over energies for singles Taurus regarding love. For September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. We have the Ace of Swords here. Seems like you're having a major breakthrough here. Seems like you're gaining some sort of clarity here of regarding love. Maybe it's, you know, this time what you're looking for, what you're going to do differently, okay? What you've learned from past mistakes here. We have the Moon, okay. Cancer, Pisces energy. Seems like... You know, some sort of truth is being revealed to you. You know, this could be being, uh, being uh, this could be revealed in your 5D and your 3D here, okay? Um, you, you know, during your sleep state, um, during meditation, okay? Cancer Pisces energy with the moon. Nine of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles here. So what you're seeing clear or what break, the breakthrough that, that you're having here is I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're just working on yourself right now. Focusing on your work, focusing on your pentacles, your career, your money here. It seems to be going really, really, really well in that department there. Okay, what else do we have here for Taurus? We have the Three of Wands and the King of Wands here. Okay. This could be someone that's waiting for you. And I feel like this is someone that you've dealt with for a while here. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the past here. This could be a new person. Maybe this person's coming towards you. This person's coming towards you. At the, it's on the horizon or something like that. Okay. Uh, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. We have the High Priestess, the Moon, and the Nine of Cups. Seems like there's an energy of like, you know, it's not, you know, being by myself is not so bad right now. Being on my own is not so bad because I'm really happy. Uh, you know, I feel like there's an energy of you keeping to yourself and you getting a lot of intuitive hits right now. Okay. Um, but it, it seems like you guys are doing really, really well from what they tell Taurus. Okay. Perhaps showing yourself a lot of self-care and a lot of self-love here, okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles and Judgment, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I just feel like you're coming to a realization that, you know, I'm really going to focus on me, okay? It seems like you're having this awakening that, you know, that you need to be by yourself for a little bit. And like I said, there's an energy of like, hey, this is not so bad, you know? Judgment, Sagittarius energy, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Devil, well, I mean, you guys are really doing a lot of hard work. And, you know, I feel like with the devil here, some of you guys could have suffered from some sort of addiction issues. And I feel like you guys are overcoming it. Uh, okay. So uh, tell me about the eight of wands here. We have the knight. Yeah, that's not the eight of wands. I'm so sorry. The three of wands and the eight of swords. Okay. And then we have the king of wands and the knight of wands. Okay. I don't know. I, I feel I'm feeling like more so this is old energy here, but we're uh, we're gonna see as the uh, as the read goes on. But it seems like we have someone here that can't stop thinking about you, and I feel like someone here is rushing in towards you. Yeah, someone here is trying to fight for you or something like that, or fight for this connection, or someone here is looking for another opportunity with you. Okay, could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag, but like I said, I just feel like yeah, it's not so bad. I'm really enjoying this. Just being on my own right now. You know, it's not not that you're closed off to having a relationship. It's more so you're just enjoying just being on your own and you're just kind of like, you know what? 
I'm gonna do me, and if new love comes toward, towards me, that's great. If it doesn't, that's great too, because I'm fine by myself. Um, let's see. Uh, what are some of the blocks and challenges that Taurus is currently facing in finding love? What are some of the current blocks and challenges for Taurus in finding new love? For uh, September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Taurus people. Okay. All right. We have the world and the seven of cups. Okay. We have the two of pentacles and the chariot. You know, um, I'm getting a bit of indecisiveness. Um, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting that you're still confused about something or that you're still lost or that you're still trying to find your own way. So that's why, like, hence, like, you guys are really enjoying being by yourself and just going through the process right now. We have the sun and the queen of pentacles. It seems like you're trying to figure out stuff regarding you. You're just kind of going with the flow. I do feel like, you know, the cycle of confusion, the cycle of going through, you know, whatever you've been through here with this toxic energy here, you know, regarding maybe addiction, maybe regarding this person that's trying to rush back in, I feel like things are becoming more and more and more clear because you have that Ace of Swords right there, okay? So there is a cycle that you're about to close out, okay? So the uh, Two of Pentacles and the Chariot, and then the sun and the queen of pentacles. You know, I feel like you're going to decide that you're going to choose happiness. You're going to choose you. Okay. It's sort of like one of those energies that you're not going to let anything or anybody dictate your happiness or control you. You know, tell me about this uh, world card. You know, sometimes that seven of cups could, for me could represent, you know, you know, self-indulgence. You know, it could also represent, you know, drugs too for me. Uh, every everyone reads it differently. It really depends on the type of reader, the question. So tell me about the world with the hangman, Piscean energy. Tell me about the seven of cups with the ace of wands. You know, I feel like for a very for a very long time, I feel like you were in this stalemate energy, but I feel like you're breaking free from this. Um, illusion that you've created for yourself because I feel like every time you know when the goings went to, ha has gone tough you would escape to this alternate reality or something like that but I feel like you, you, you right now I feel like there's an energy of you know becoming clear being enlightened here you know kind of lighting that fire up your ass you know sort of doing your own thing here okay some of you guys could be starting a new business too okay the eight of two of pentacles and the king of pentacles okay the chariot and the nine of swords okay so this the block is that there is a past person that is unsure that has been juggling you okay whoever this is this is someone that has mental health issues um for some of you guys this might resonate with some of you guys some like you know before you met this person like you were never into drinking or doing drugs you know that sort of thing and maybe this person got you into it and you know and and then and then you had to deal with it and when you separated from this person you kind of went off on your own and did your own thing to heal from this okay um tell me about sun uh, this is a true pair by the way the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles we have the knight of pentacles and the sun the queen of pentacles and the four of cups it seems like some this is past person so i, I feel like someone here is looking for a reconciliation here the thing is, I feel like, like I said, you're doing so well. I feel like you might reject this person, but I feel like more so you're, you're done with this person and I feel like this person's thinking about you. This person's missing you. This person's stressing out about you. This person's still trying to decide about you. Okay, uh, you know, it seems like this person with the world card and the ace of and the hangman and the ace of wands, they want to restart things here with you and they feel like they're, they're having trouble letting go of you. Okay, um, what else does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to work on? Is there anyone new coming towards single Taurus's way? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for uh, September 2022. Okay, ten of wands and the page of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I do feel like you're going to be, be out there meeting new people. You will get offers here. The thing is, I feel like these, these individuals are, uh, are not on the same maturity level as you. Okay? So I feel like you're going to end up just not really dealing with these people. You're going to let them go. Okay? 
Um, this is just an indication that you're just not ready to be with somebody yet. Like I said, being single right now doesn't seem too bad because I feel like you guys are doing incredibly well, incredibly successful on your own right now. Okay. Uh, you know, there's an the energy of you sort of like killing it. Okay. So, uh, so um, we have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Now this could be, you know, new person uh, that's coming towards you. Uh, that's not going to really work out, but I feel like maybe, you know, this past person is going to be really persistent. Okay. Um, but I feel like you're just going to move on from this person and not play this person's games. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what else we have here. Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like you're stepping away right now. I just feel like you're just not looking for anything romantic. And if anything, I just feel like you're looking for new friends. Uh, Page of Pentacles and a Knight of Cups. I do feel like this is the past energy. I feel like this person's like, you know, bending over backwards, doing everything that they can. The Page of Swords and Temperance. This person's trying to make peace with you. The thing is, I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person. The Knight of Swords here. You know, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it seems like whatever this is, I feel like this person is learning from their mistakes. The thing is, I feel like you learn from your mistakes because, you know, you're learning your mistakes by not going back. Yeah, so, Taurus, I feel like this is you. You've gone through a huge transformation. You've changed as a person here. So you change so much that, you know, you just don't have a spot for this uh, person in your life anymore. Okay. So like I said, you're, you're growing, you're changing, you're expanding. And like I said, it's not so bad. Uh, you don't, you know, so, um, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did leave a comment down in the comment section below, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.